What's up YouTube, KidMoto22 here, coming to you guys today with the review slash overview of the Momentum Road Warrior bag by Kiriakin. This bag is uh, something that I got from Kiriakin to use for some of my long distance trips. It's really a good bag when you wanna put a lot of stuff in, it's easy to pack, it essentially sits right on your bike. It can be connected to your sissy bar backrest. Um, it has multiple connecting points with straps that all come with it. It's basically a bag with pockets on the outside and a big open space on the inside. Really easy to pack. You can use it for camping, for clothes. You can put a laptop in it. This is a great bag. Full transparency, I have put 2,000 miles on this bag already. And so I do have to say, this fits all of my needs and, and was a great thing to add to my, um, my kit, I guess you would say, for what I use to either go camping or for bike traveling. So let's get to that review slash overview right now. All right, guys, I'm gonna give you a tour of the Momentum Road Warrior bag by Kiriakin. This bag is 19 inches wide, 12 inches deep, and 16 inches tall. If you like to do trips and you like to put on the miles and you need something big to carry all your supplies, this is really gonna be the bag for you. Um, it's basically a big open space inside of the bag. There is a um, storage area in the back for a laptop. The bag itself, I would say, is symmetrical in its design um, because it has the same pockets on both the right side and the left side. There's multiple mounting points on the front of the bag and the back of the bag, so you can really mount it to your bike in a bunch of different ways. Um, there's mole on the front and a variety of different strap options in terms of carrying it and uh, um, keeping it on your bike. In this picture, you can see the bag from the side. Um, the pocket that on the lower part of the bag in the middle is really uh, a drink pocket. The other pockets are Velcro uh, open enclosures for um, anything that you want to put in there, tools. Um, they're decent sized pockets. The pocket on the top is a zipper pocket and folds straight down, and we'll, we'll see a picture of that in a later picture. Um, it also has some um, smaller compartments in there that you, for, for storage. Um, I found this great for tools and various things that I really needed to get to while the bag was strapped on my bike and I was ready to travel. This picture shows the bag from the opposite side. Again, just really shows how the bag is symmetrical in its design. Has the pocket on the top that zips down and folds down. The pocket in the middle that is basically a drink pocket and the two Velcro pockets on the right and left side that can be used to store any type of tools or anything really that you need. This picture is a view of the bag from the back. Um, the, I really like this design that they've included with this bag. Um, this shows the buckles in the back and the U-shaped um, mounting points that are on the back of the bag. It's great for a variety of, of different types of mounting and uh, this, the three straps with the buckles are basically what you would consider to be a sissy bar mount. Um, this is really handy because it can be used for a variety of sissy bar sizes and styles. Um, even sissy bar seats with backrests, that kind of thing will all work with that style of mounting. Um, I found this to be really handy on my bike because I was able to adjust it for the size of the sissy bar backrest that I have on my Road King Special. Again, this is a view from the front of the bag and shows what it looks like when you open the bag from the front. Now, I did light the inside of the bag to give you some idea of depth of the bag. The inside of the bag is not red, um, but it's just lit this way so you can see the inside of the bag. The front pocket's very handy when you're traveling and you need to get into the inside of the bag. Um, I found this to be uh, a great feature in terms of um, getting to all of the things that I needed to in the inside of the bag, but still keeping everything secure. Um, you don't have to open the bag this way, but it just provides another option for um, getting into the inside of your bag. It's also great for packing if you've got your bag mounted and you wanna throw things on there when the bag's already mounted on your bike. This is a great picture that shows the symmetrical form of this bag. I've opened up all of the pockets, both of the right and left side and the front pocket. And again, I have it lit from the inside so you can kind of get an idea of a little bit of the depth. The bag itself, 
opens on all of these pockets and there's um, places for storage inside of these pockets. So um, this is a great feature in terms of being able to pack things on the sides of the bike that you or sides of the bag that you want to get into when you're on your bike and you're riding and you're traveling. Um, I found this to be exceptionally useful when um, I had things that I needed to get into my bag for and I didn't want to get into the larger compartment or when I wanted to get into the larger compartment and, um, and I was traveling and I didn't want to take the bag off my bike. In this picture, we get another view of the side of the bag. Um, I think this is a great example of the way that this bag is designed and how useful it can be for traveling if you really want to have a lot of features in terms of how you want to be able to pack and access the stuff that you have packed. So you'll see that there's a mesh flap that's folded down in the front of the, uh, on the side of the bag, excuse me, not the front, and um, the larger pocket will open exposing this mesh area. So if you have clothes or anything that you need to get into you, or, or just see, you can see the things in the bag with the mesh area because that will be closed and then you can open it up to access it or you can just open it up the entire side of the bag. So opening up the side of the bag with the side pockets continue to be closed will expose that side of the bag and still have the mesh area closed. Then you zip down the mesh and you can get to the inside of the contents of the bag. I think this is another great feature in this design and that mesh is continued on both sides of the bag. So if you look in, you can see it all the way on the other side of the bag. This is one of the features I really appreciated about this bag because you can get into it not only from the front, but on the sides when you're packing. In this picture, I've just included what it looks like when the bag is mounted on my bike. I think this is a great example of what it would look like on a Road King or a touring style bike. Um, you can use this on a soft tail. Um, I've seen it mounted on a Heritage and uh, it really does well in terms of being able to pack all of the things that you need to pack. The bag itself um, mounted on the bike with the mount multiple mounting points you can put it on the back um, on your sissy bar or use some of the different strap options to keep it on your bike. The last picture I've included here is a close-up of the bag mounted on my bike. Um, if you can kind of see on the front of the bag, I've slid a pillow in to um, the mounting points on the front of the bike and the reason or front of the bag excuse me and the reason why I did that is the way the bag is positioned on my bike this allows this bag to not only function for storage but as a backrest for me as I'm traveling this is a really handy feature um, when you're putting on a lot of miles and you don't have a backrest on your bike now if you if I did have a backrest on my bike I would still be able to squeeze it between the two I'd have to squish the front of the bag down a little bit but I'd still be able to fit that bag between the backrest the driver's backrest and the back of um, my sissy bar backrest so that while this is um, a great example of another way you can use the bike or excuse me you can use the bag um, it provides another option for you in terms of um, a way to pack and use a bag in a way that um, can be the most functional for you well, there you go. A little bit of a different take on a review overview. Um, I basically just showed you static pictures. Um, I didn't, you know, have the actual bag out that I was going to show you. Um, I did show you it mounted on my bike. And the reason why I did that is I just wanted to do a little bit of a different take, something just a little bit different from a review standpoint. Like I said in my intro, I have put 2,000 miles on this bag and I really like it. Um, it serves all of my purposes. And one of the things I like about this bag is the size of the bag fits perfect behind your seat and acts as a backrest for long trips. That in itself is uh, worth its weight in gold in a long trip. Um, if you saw in, in the pictures that I put at the end of the video um, where I took it camping, I did put a a camp pillow behind me um, to add a little bit of extra padding and act truly as a backrest for a long trip. That is really great, especially if you're running into a lot of windy conditions where you feel that wind kind of beating on you and it just kind of locks you in place on the bike. But the bag has served all of my purposes. Um, it does 
does, one of the things I forgot to mention in my review overview is it does also come with a rain fly that fits over top of the bag that will, um, has kind of a slotted area in the back so that if you have it mounted on your backrest or your sissy bar, it's not going to cause any problems. It'll fit right on there, can cinch down nice and tight. So there you go. There's my review slash overview of the Kiriakin Momentum Road Warrior bag. That's all I got for you guys today. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. You can hit the subscribe button over here or over here, and I'll put a link to another video that you might like up there. And as always, that's all I got. This is Kid Moto. I'm out.